Why hello there you sexy beast, I'm very well and welcome back to another episode of Sakura Spirit. Now in the last episode we are in the process of going into the orchard to pick out some apples with my Igor here, uh, the, the blonde fox girl, and we were about to see if she was gonna fall down from climbing a tree to get an apple just because that's what's gonna happen that's pretty much what would happen in an anime. It's just so stereotypical, it's just so cliche, it's just so predictable. And what I think is gonna happen is she's, she's gonna fall, and she's gonna fall right on my face, and her panties are gonna be right on my face. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> but anyways, now let's continue on where we left off, and let's see if she really did fall. Okay, fly? I can't do that, silly Takakun. Who ever heard of a flying fox spirit? As I expected, the moment Maiko tried to reach for one of the apples near the top of the tree, the Earl ended up losing her footing and tumbled down towards the ground with a loud cry. <laughs> okay, ah, I knew it. I knew she, she was gonna fall. But did she fall on Takahiro's face? Hmm, did she land right on his face? Maiko! Oh, looks like I'm a gentleman. My reflections quickly kick themselves into gear trying to catch the girl before she hit the ground. Ah, uh, this is the part where she falls right on me and she ends up in her uh, panties and it ends up right in my face. Unfortunately, I did not notice the apples scattered around the tree and it, as a result, ended up tripping over them. I managed another step and I was able to catch Meiko before I dropped to the ground. Oh, uh, do we get a picture? Do we get a picture, guys? My heart was throbbing once I recovered from the fall. I tried to sit up, but I found myself being held on by a small but substantial weight. Ah, <laughs> I knew it, I knew it, I knew that this is what's gonna happen. Do we get a new picture? Do we get a picture? Come on, picture? <laughs> oh, yeah. Opening my eyes, I looked up to see Michael sitting on my lap. Oh, <laughs> Well, I guess I was kind of half true. I was kind of expecting like a like a 69 position where her underwear was right at my face and she's facing towards the my legs, you know, the other way around. But anyways, this is good too. This is good too. We have a nice view. <laughs> well, I guess we could have some melons for dessert. <laughs> or some coconut. <laughs> Watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew. <laughs> Yeah, okay, whatever, I'm done, I'm done. Owie, I, I guess I tried to... I guess I, I tried to reach too... a bit too far. Thank you, Takihiro. You saved me, and you gave me a soft... Uh, well, kind of soft and kind of hard landing. Aww. Michael-chan, do, do you mind? Um, 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 you're crushing me. <laughs> yeah, I bet she's crushing you, especially when she's... Uh, uh, I, I would imagine she would be pretty heavy, I mean, when you look at this, I mean, wouldn't you think that, that those pair would be pretty damn heavy, you know? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, Sakihiro, I, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. As the younger sister grew increasingly flustered, I knew I had to calm her down. Gently, I tilted my legs underneath her and she toppled forwards, her head resting against my chest. Okay, righty, right, right, right. Now I'm now I think I I think the next episode is gonna have this screen, so look out for the screen. Yes, this thumbnail. I guess we've learned that fox spirits can be pretty clumsy, or maybe that Maiko is even cuter than up close than I had thought. Okay, that's kind of strange. You're, you're talking about how clumsy the fox is, then you're now talking about how cute they are. How How is it even related to one another? Does he think that clumsy girls are cute? What? Takihiro, I think you're mistaking me for Onisama! Nope, I'm talking about you! You have that innocent side to you that's really, really charming. <laughs> oh man, I bet she's blushing like that. Oh yes, I bet she's blushing. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people from the village would want to claim you as their adorable little sister once we've cleared up those misunderstandings. <laughs> oh, and I, I don't think that they want her as a little sister. I think they want her as a like a wife or something or a girlfriend. <laughs> yes, yes. Hmm. I'd be hot. To, I'd be happy to call you brother, Takuhiro. But a lot of people in that village are super mean. I just want to spend some. 
time with you and Onisama. Oh, great. Oh, great. We are in the f brother. We're in the brother zone, you know, like friend zone, but we're freaking brothers. Oh, really? Really? Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, Takahiro, you're gonna be a virgin forever. B -b 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 brother how 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 about darling <laughs> oh it's Akihiro. yeah that's what I'm talking about the, 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 the darling I don't know if I'm ready for that oh oh yes I, I you're you're ready Michael you're ready R really I think we'd be a cute couple, a hero and a fox spirit, living happily ever after. Your sister could stay too. Whoa, Takahiro, man. <laughs> Holy shit, man. This is uh, escalating quite quickly right here. <laughs> I wonder what kind of changed Takahiro's mind. Is it because uh, what he's staring at right now? I, w I wonder if her sister will get jealous or if she's interested in doing like some kind of a, a uh, group activity, if you know what I mean. We could raise a <laughs> we could raise a little family. I mean, we already have a house, so we wouldn't really have to worry about that. And any guy from my world would kill to have a pretty wife like you. <laughs> oh, Taki Hero. Uh, I, I, you know, I I don't know. This sounds kind of strange. Is Taki Hero like dreaming or something? Is he kind of uh, did he get hit on the head by one of the apples, and that's why he's talking like that? That's kind of strange. How he he's kind of getting so um so romantic, kind of going in this direction. I held back a cup of chuckle, knowing all too well that my teasing was taking effect, and yet I was happy to see happy to see her spirit seemingly lifted. Oh Takihiro, you you're 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 so evil, Takihiro. I mean you're lifting up her spirits and then you're gonna let her down and she's gonna crash and burn and she's gonna like go and kill herself. Oh Takihiro, you're such an evil guy. <laughs> Thank you, Takani. <laughs> I I I think Takukun would be better. Machiko san would probably wouldn't like another sibling, but I'm glad you cheered up. <laughs> oh man, uh, looks like she probably she's probably thinking that uh, we're being serious. You didn't seem too happy earlier. The way your tail and your ears were hanging low reminded me of a scolded puppy. Oh, right, I, I was just thinking is all, you know, about that spell I wanted to try, the one that needed silky wedding undies. <laughs> undies? We're, we're not talking about wedding undies, we're talking about wedding shash. I think a shash is like a, like a belt or something, right? It goes around the waist. I think that's what a shash is, a wedding shash. Wedding shash, it's kind of, oh, so it is a belt, huh. Wedding shash, it's kind of a, like a belt that a bride wears during her wedding ceremony. I doubt any spell in involving panties would be a good idea to cast. <laughs> oh yes, what, I mean, what, what kind of spell are they trying to do anyways, I mean? Are they trying to get like a pair of panties so they could use a spell to make a woman grow from a pair of panties? Is that what they're trying to do? Are they trying to like resurrect like their mother? Or something. I I don't know. Does uh, does fox spirits have mothers? Yeah. Well, whatever. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking of a uh, Full Metal Alchemist right now. You know, with the uh, the two little brothers kind of trying to do some spell to bring back their dead mother. I I don't know if anyone else saw the anime. I kind of saw the anime a little bit, but uh, not really. Oh, I thought it was like wedding undies that you wear on your wedding night. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, wedding night. I, I like your thinking, Michael. We 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 have a wedding night every single night. How about that, Michael? Does that cheer you up? <laughs> anyway, the spell. I don't know why, but I wanted to try it uh, for a little while now. And well, it's a gate spell. Not like the not, not not like those temporary ones. Those are easy to make. A permanent one, like a portal to another place. <gasps> That's exactly what I need. I need that. I, I need a gate so I can go to a different place, preferably my own place. Hmm, sounds interesting. But are, are, are you sure it's safe? Now, Takahiro doesn't seem to get it. I mean, it seems like it would be a spell that we would need to get back to our world. I, I don't know why he doesn't think about that. Silly Takani, that's not the point. 
this spell, it might be able to help you. See, even my uncle right here think, thinks it would be able to help him. See, my, my uncle here is smarter than Takahiro. I guess Takahiro is more like a... Like a... I don't want to say buff guy, like a muscle guy, because I'm, I'm pretty sure he doesn't really have mus much muscle, but... It seems he, he's kind of clueless. Ta Takahiro is not thinking straight, but I'm guessing it's again because of, of the view. That's why he's not thinking straight. Well, well, that's a, oh, good enough. I prefer not ending up in the middle of a sea or a live volcano. I think we should be a bit more careful with your magic. Hmm, I'm a good mage. Oh, I'm sure you are, Michael. So, uh, Michael, can you use your magic to make my PP a little bit bigger, you know, before I return back to my other world? Yeah? Huh? Yeah? <laughs> As a favor, I'll even let you use it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's horrible. That, that, that's what Harry said when he went to Toad Atlantis, he went to, he had a solution to their water shortage. Well now, what the hell is Takahiro babbling about right now? Huh? What's Atlantis? A city with high ambitions sunk into the deep due to poor management. Anyways, I think it's best if we get an expert opinion before we try anything. We're gonna try to uh, visit this Suri anyway, so maybe she'll be able to tell us if your spell will get me home. Okay. What? But Su Chan told me I couldn't use magic at all. She said it was only for her to use or something. Wait a second. I thought Michael says that she's a good magician and that and that and that she's gonna use the spell to help me. But now she's saying that only her sister is able to use it, use magic. What? Hmm. Maybe she had a reason for saying that. Like maybe I don't know. Uh, do spells have side effects? Hmm. You're just like Onisama. She forbid me too, but I show her that spells could be helpful, and that I could control them. So she let me do more research. I'm not gonna throw spells around like they're nothing. I'm not a dumb little kid. <laughs> oh man. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to do anything. Besides, you seem old enough to take care of yourself. Not that I know how old someone like you might be. <laughs> hey, I, I bet she's not even like uh, underage or anything. I bet I'm betting that maybe she's like uh, like 400 years old or something. You know, you, you know, like the like vampires or elves that age slowly. Hey, I'm kind of curious what her age is. Not that I'm thinking of anything, guys. Not that I'm thinking about anything nasty. Beware of the dark side of magic. In most stories, magic usually comes with a price. Like, what would you do if magic gave you a terrible tummy ache, or headache, or worse, diarrhea? <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't really picture like girls going to the bathroom, like having diarrhea. Like, especially Mike over here, I couldn't picture her going to a bathroom. Although some people probably would like seeing that. You know, some people do have fetishes with that kind of stuff. <laughs> But again, you know, uh, what, what, whatever floats your boats, whatever, you know, it's cool. Then uh, you better prepare a gate spell to the nearest bathroom. Hmm, I do get headaches, but those aren't really on that a big of a deal. I And I had to get do a lot of things for Oni-sama. I'm not gonna ch change that ever, so there. I like how my voices is not consistent with any of these characters. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I, I already said that I wasn't going to make you do anything, however, what you do need to change is the fact that you're strad straddling me and um, you're rather close. I'd appreciate it if you could get off and... <laughs> I wonder if he's getting like a erection or something, you know? Boy, 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 boy. <laughs> oh man, hopefully, hopefully she does not feel that. Maybe she'll, she'll think it's like my tail or something. Ah, but you're so warm and soft. I could curl up and sleep on you. Uh, I wouldn't mind that. What? Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't go sleeping on uh, uh, me. Hehe, <laughs> just kidding. I wouldn't do something like that out here. Maybe tonight, though. <laughs> it's only fair since Onisama got to do it, but more importantly, dessert. Oh, yes, dessert. 
We need to get back inside. Oni-sama is probably wondering what's taking so long. <laughs> yes, I don't think she's gonna like it seeing us two like in this position. I, I think I think her sister would get jealous or something. I couldn't really argue with the girl's impeccable logic. While with a smile, I helped the girl to her feet and gathered a few fallen apples to into the basket. Alright guys, I think this is a good place to pause, I hope you sexy beasts enjoy, and if you did, please check out my channel and uh, my other videos, and stay sexy my friends, stay sexy.